Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. Sampler V series V's I've been doing for a little while. I'm over there trying food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then folks, I'm gonna talk about stuff. I'm gonna let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not gonna lie. I know a good deal when I see one. But we'll get into that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to around about for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing for you today, folks? Well, it's my pretty much brand new, boom, my dope shirt. Woo! Well, with the main character, Edsel Dope. Because at this point, he's the only remaining original member. Um... If you are unfamiliar with the band Dope, they have been around since like the mid-90s or so. Kind of came up in the, the new metal scene. They've had various labels over the years, you know, kind of industrial metal and then shock rock I heard at one point in time. Uh, you know, but yeah, they definitely fall within the that whole new metal wave. I've been a big fan of these guys ever since high school. Basically, since the first time I saw one of their music videos, I was just like, these guys are super fucking cool. Uh, I've been fortunate enough now, I've seen them perform live quite a few times, and at the time I'm doing this, I got to see them just a few days back. Uh, they performed out in Chicago, along with Static X, Seven Dust, and uh, a band called Lines of Loyalty. All the bands were fantastic. Dope was fantastic. I had to pick up another shirt. I also went over there and got a bunch of videos, not only of Dope, but of all the different bands that performed that night. Just in case you're maybe interested in music stuff too, I have those videos on this channel as well. Just saying. Anyway, what am I trying for your day, folks? What are we doing here? Why is it a good deal? Well, folks, because I headed back out to... Boom! Waffalo... Or <laughs> Waffalo Wild Wings. Buffalo Wild Wings! <clears throat> Specifically, I got a couple flavors here. These are two brand new flavors, or at least returning flavors. I'm not 100% sure. We got Honey Garlic and Honey Sriracha, because honey is apparently the name of the game in 2024. Uh... I've reviewed quite a th few things from Buffalo Wild Wings, and a lot of times I like to go over there and review stuff in pairs like this because on Thursdays they have a buy one get one free deal on their boneless wings. So that's what these are. I got some boneless honey garlic and some boneless uh, honey sriracha. And I should mention on Tuesdays they have the same deal but for bone in, but usually I just go for the, for the boneless. <coughs> so let's take a look at these. Let's go ahead, let's get a thing for the thing. Can we get a thing for the thing? Ha 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 ha! Yeah! And yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll try some of these out. I Like I said, man, I've been, I've been doing this for a little bit now because it's like, it's a good way for me to get some lunch and then on top of that, you know, like I said, you know, save a few bucks. All right, let's, what are we going to start out with? You know what, we'll start out with the honey garlic and we'll go from there. Honey garlic. The honey garlic is definitely like a thicker sauce than the honey sriracha. So, which kind of makes sense. I'm guessing the sriracha one is more sriracha based. This one's probably a little bit more honey based. Let's give it a go. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. Okay, I'm down with that. Um, I'm actually very down with that. So, call me crazy, but I don't typically think of honey and garlic as working well together as a pairing. So, you know, I mean, I figured, like, obviously they're not going to throw absolute trash at you. They're going to come up with some way to make it work. And they did. I actually like these quite a bit, just to get that out of the way. And I mean, I'll, I'll just quickly review the chicken even though mostly what I'm reviewing is the sauce. Buffalo Wild Wings chicken, it's okay. It is not, by any stretch of the imagination, the pinnacle of chicken wing chicken. Um, but it's serviceable. I mean, you know, decent white meat. It's cooked well. The exterior is actually pretty nice. The the coating and everything, it's got a nice little crunch to it. It's, it's very much like some B-minus chicken. It's fine. It absolutely gets the job done. Mostly it's there just to... Uh, 
you know, be a facilitator for whatever sauce. But yes, uh, I actually like this quite a bit. The thing that I was surprised by was how heavy the hit of the garlic is. Like, it, it honestly has almost like a raw garlic kind of hit to it, where it's got like a, like a much stronger punch to it. And, but it's not, the nice thing is it's not overpowering, because you have that somewhat contrast of the honey. And if you watch my channel long enough, you know I love contrasting flavors. I think, you know, just it can just complement and elevate the entire thing. And that's actually what's happened here. Like, you have the sweetness of the honey, and then you have, like, that raw punch of the garlic. And it could, if it, was, if it wasn't well put up, or well put together, it could fuck everything up. But no, it actually is really tasty. And initially, you get that hit of honey. It's almost got a little heat, like a little bit of a barbecue kind of flavor to it. And then you get that garlic. And like I said, it's got a little bit, like almost a raw garlic kind of aspect to it. And it gives it like an edge. You know, instead of just being nothing but sweet and, you know, again, a little bit of a barbecue flavor. It gives it that kind of rougher edge to it. I like this a lot. I've tried out quite a few flavors from Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm probably just going to have to... I'm just going to have to create another playlist. <laughs> now that I think about it. But... Their sauces are very hit or miss for me. It's like, some of them I've really enjoyed. Some of them I've been very meh about. This one, this one definitely goes in the good, po good pile. I like this one a lot. There's, yeah, man, it's just... It's just a good time. I really like that. It's got personality, and it's got dimension. And I think that's part of the reason why I like this one so much. I would go as far as to say that I think this is genuinely like a standout sauce for them. This is one that should just be on the menu all the time. Really good. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Clearly and clearly. Yeah. I like this one. There was genuinely nothing about it that I dislike. It is, it is so good. I will in fact say, this is one of those ones. Like if they wanted to go over there, and I'm surprised that Buffalo Wild Wings doesn't do this already. And hey, if they want to go over there and give me, you know, maybe a hundred thousand dollars or so for coming up with the idea, I'm just saying. I don't understand why they don't sell their sauces in their restaurants. Like, you would think that would be a thing because this is one. Where I would genuinely go over there and just buy the sauce by itself. Like, that's how tasty it is. It's really good. Like I said, I think it's got nice complexity to it. It has personality. And it's well-balanced. For me, it's a fucking huge winner. If I'm recommending it, if you're not into garlic, well, I wouldn't say that the garlic aspect is overpowering. It's, it's, it's there. So if you're not into garlic, you're not going to be into this. Um, you know, I know... Uh, one of my subscribers has mentioned he's not huge into, like, the, the mix of the sweet and the savory aspects. Uh, this one might not be for you, but I personally think that it's really good. And if nothing else, what well, with it being a limited time flavor, excuse me, limited time flavor, at least for now, if they take my advice, you know, I'm just saying. This is definitely one that I would go over there and pick up while it's available. And, you know, like I said, worst case scenario, go over there. I'm not trying to chill for him, although, again like to pay me some money chill 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 uh you know make use of their deals you know do the buy one get one free on tuesday or buy one get one free on thursday you know try some out that way that's you know been the nice thing about me doing it this way is like i get to try out the different flavors if i don't like one well one of them was free so but anyway five things for you get out here have yourself a great rest of your day spectacular rest of your week monumental rest of your months dependent rest of your year. folks go over there have yourselves a truly Honey-tastic rest of your life, man. I mean, honey's just doing it this year, you know? I've already reviewed a couple of hot honey potato chips from Lay's and Oots. Go watch that review. Honey is apparently the name of the game, man. If you went over there and you saw your stocks rise with honey, you made a wide or a wise investment. But anyway, final two things. Number one, 
try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world not to be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes. You know, at the time I'm doing this, you know, I'm having a pretty good day. It's a little chilly out, but otherwise it's a beautiful fucking day, man. It's, you know, nice and crisp. You know, it's about 45 degrees or so. It's yeah, a little bit cold, but, you know, I can deal with it. If we could get to, like, 55, I'd be like... But we're not always going to have the best of days. When we do run into those days that aren't so great, it's important we go over there, take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholeness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try out some uh, honey garlic wings from Buffalo Wild Wings, as I've done here today. And maybe, like me, you're going to be, like, really pleasantly surprised. Maybe you happen to have, like, a brother-in-law who, you know, knows a guy who, whatever, who runs, you know, Buffalo, the marketing at Buffalo Wild Wings. Maybe you go over there, you show him my video, you're like, look, there's this fat guy on YouTube, he's got a dope shirt on, he, he, he knows his business. And he's over there, he's got some pretty good ideas. He's saying, let's take that uh, honey garlic, keep it on the menu, and he's saying, let's go over there and start marketing our sauces a little bit. Maybe we ought to get this guy on board. And the marketing guy goes over there and he's like, well, we are definitely going to take those ideas, because they're brilliant million dollar ideas. Clearly. But we're, we're absolutely not going to go over there and pay this guy a dime because that's just you know, how marketing and all that bullshit works. Which, at the end of the day, fair dues. At the very least, if I can go over there and get to buy some uh, honey garlic sauce, eh, I'll call it a win. Anyway, bye.